हे एवरी वन वेलकम टू द न्यू लेक्चर ऑफ कोड प्रैक्टिस एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू रिट्रीव द डेटा फ्रॉम एस थ्री एंड वी विल डिस्प्ले इन अवर चार्ट नाउ इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी वर्क ऑन हाउ टू शो हाउ टू डिस्प्ले इन शो अवर चार्ट डेटा एंड इट वॉज डिस्प्लेइंग लाइक दिस राइट so in this video we will show this data from s3 we will store this data in s3 and then we will fetch and display so here this is my aws account this is my s3 bucket so what i will do is i will upload the same file that we have in s3 and let me show you the data as well so the data is product a b and c okay so this is the data across four months the same data we are uploading here now and go to our file and we will start writing the code so in python if you want to do any interaction with aws components so we have one boto3 library which provides you those uh, services access now here i am calling boto3.client and here i have to pass the service name of aws i will store this is in a variable let's say it is at s3 client now what i'll do is i'll get the response from s3 i'll use this client and now i will call the s3 server via my client so which which is s3 get object api call and here i'll pass my bucket name is code practice demo bucket and my key name is this one and let's say uh, in your bucket you have some folders like test production or something then you have to keep that path accordingly the key name you have to pass accordingly now we have defined our bucket and the key now we will get the response from s3 and here we have to pass our object the response via body we will get this response in the body we will read this and just uh, when we we are dealing with these kind of read and all is always recommended to use the decoding as utf8 okay now we will use this data and we will call json dot loads and we will pass this content okay now i'll comment this section because we will use the same code that we used previously right and let's go to the browser source file changed and we can see the data is coming here right you can see all the charts are coming like that only what we were seeing previously now additionally i will show you some methods which will be very useful for you when you will be working in your organization or with streamlit right so let's discuss them so here we have update layout method right so here what you can do is if you see this month and sales if you want to make these labels bold what you can do is here you can provide x axis underscore title and then you can pass b which is html thing so it supports html tagging and then you can have you can close this tag right and this is done now if you see this month is getting bold similar way you can do for y axis and you can bold the sales label right now for sometimes uh this uh chart size is very less if you want to expand this 
chat by default. So what we can do is according to our screen, let's say you are providing a width of 1200 and you're providing a height of 540. So if we refresh, now if you see the height has increased and width has also increased, right? And let's say now if I make it 1600, okay now the next thing is here sometimes what happens if you are dealing with oh, large organizations where you have like large number of records in a day you are dealing with the millions of records now if i increase this let's say this much i do and if i refresh this right so okay uh so what I will do is for this demo purpose, now we have see, seen like how this data is working in S3, right? The code is, I'll, I'll use my local file to show you. I'll refresh this. And now if you see the data is coming like it is hardly readable. You can't read the content and because the first product, the product A has sales is 1.2 million. So how are we going to read this? So for this, what we can do is we can use the logarithmic function of streamlet, which is log y, and here we have to make it true. Now, if I refresh this, see the magic. So I can see all the fields, and the chart is looking nice. So it is it is showing okay. This is 1.2 million. If you see the y-axis, it is a function of logarithmic. It's a logarithmic function. 100. 10,000 it is increasing by 10 for every unit so and if you want to change the color of these charts what you can do is you can pass template floatly dark so these will be compatible and will be nice looking with your dark theme if you switch to settings and system settings dark so here if you see these will look nice right and if i don't use this then these are little off kind of for your dark mode so i will always advise if you are dealing with dark mode as well go with this floatly dark and use this so that's it for this lecture in the next lecture, we will talk about how we can use a scheduler, a Python scheduler to upload a, this JSON file in our S3 bucket so that uh, we will create a scheduler which will upload in every five minutes or two, three minutes, right? And then about this uh, product sales chart dot Python file, will read that data and will display that. Till then, thank you.